what's up people welcome back again to my channel you know it's always a pleasure having you logged onto this channel my name is Dapo Ibrahim and if you are familiar with this channel you would know that I focus on talking about issues regarding leadership communication and networking as they apply to our daily activities you know if it's a business owner if it's entrepreneurship relationship um, academics profession whatever um, so those are the main three key things that I usually talk about but today I will be sharing something with us because um, especially if you've seen my video on how to create a business plan and how to um, organize your time how to save yourself time and money and if you have really used that then you would also remember that part of the things that I spoke about is that if you create a business plan so you could generate funding for your business um, it could be to request for fund it could be to request for um, investors it could be to you know whatever the sources so if you have that maybe you now maybe you took the route of you know obtaining the PPP loan well this video is mainly for you guys that are into the PPP loan but the, the point of this video is besides the PPP loan there is another forgivable loan program for small business owners and this is due to the current stimulus bill that is being enacted so if you have access to if you already have access to the PPP loan last year due to the COVID virus then there is a loan forgivable program due to the current stimulus bill that's been taken um, that's been enacted and this also would require you to look into a section of the Small Business Act and this applies to those in the United States of course um, so this will require you to look into the Small Business Act um, section 7a of the Small Business Act I'm going to read a portion of the information for you and um, okay yes the government will pay for a portion of your debt if you want to take advantage of this unprecedented benefit you need to become more familiar with the small business administration section 7a and 504 loan programs a section 7a loan which is received through the SBA lender is a loan that can be issued that can be used for working capital equipment inventory and business acquisitions you can borrow up to five million dollars at both fixed and variable interest rates as long as you have fewer than 500 employees and less than 7.5 million in average annual receipts you also have to be a for-profit business based in the United States and not be delinquent in any debt owned to the government. Depending on how you intend to use the fund, your maturity will be 7 to 25 years. Okay? The SBA, the SBA 504 micro plan, micro plan micro loan program is geared more towards economic development and job creation this is available to purchase commercial real estate existing building and equipment that will help grow your business these loans also have a five million dollars limit and have similar requirements in a section 7a loan However, interest rate from these loans are fixed and maturities are 10 to 20 years depending on the nature of the loan. If you already have an existing SBA section 7A or 504 micro loan, then you can get up to 8 months of forgiveness. That's the point of this video. I'll read that again. If you already have an existing SBA section 7A or 504 micro loan then you can get up to 8 months of forgiveness 
three months plus an additional five months if you are in a hard hit industry such as the food industry um services and accommodation art industry entertainment recreation and education as well as laundry and personal care service services you, know, you can get up to uh, you get up to eight months of forgiveness of principal and interest payments, all capped at nine thousand dollars a month. Now, if you have now, if you have a new section seven A or five zero four micro loan before September twentieth, then your first six months of principal. And interest up to nine thousand dollar a month will also be forgiven. What's unique about this loan is that you don't have to show that your business has been impacted by COVID. And even if you have an existing paycheck protection loan, you can still apply for this. Now, because the loans are offered through SBA lenders, such as banks and institutions, financial institutions, you will still have to go through a due diligence process that will require providing tax returns, a business plan, your ability to meet terms of the loan. However, the new law has increased the federal guarantee for the loans, which lowers the risk of these lenders and makes it easier for them to extend financing the sba however has been given the latitude to change some of the terms of loans depending on the demand and funds available coons believe that this small business debt relief program although it's a small part of the new stimulus bill will offer 3.5 billion more of debt relief in the coming year. It's already delivered 8 billion to support automatically to 320,000 small businesses all over the country. He said, um, including 900 small businesses in Delaware just alone by itself. So maybe your small business has been impacted by the pandemic or maybe not. For these benefits, it doesn't matter. For Coons and others who create who created this provision, it's about recovery. Getting forgiveness on loan payments will make it much more affordable to get the financing more to get the financing many small businesses uh, to get the finances many small businesses need to invest higher and grow as the economy gets back on its feet in twenty. 21. Um, this post is from the Philadelphia Inquirer. Uh, you could go on their website. It was posted on January 6, 2021. Um, and I will go into the small business. I'll go to the small business website. I'll go to the small business website and just read the uh, let me share my let me share my screen with you guys. okay so i will go so we are uh this is the small business administration website we're looking at this um the seven a loan program and this um the seven a loan program is a is the sba primary sba's primary program for providing financial assistance to small businesses the terms and condition the terms and conditions like the the guarantee percentage and loan amounts may vary by the type of loan that you are vying for. So I guess these are the different types. We have the standard 7A, maximum is 5 million. Um, and this is all the information, the guarantee, the interest rate, um, eligibility decision, revolving lines of credit, turnaround forms, collateral, um, credit decision, the small loan, Maximum of two hundred fifty thousand um, dollars guarantee. Maximum SBA guarantee percentage is five percent for loan, one hundred fifty percent um, thousand, and so five percent loan for greater um, for for loans greater than one hundred fifty thousand. The interest rate is there. Eligibility decision um, form collateral credit decision. The SBA Express maximum two hundred fifty thousand. 
guarantee percent, 50 percent interest rate, eligibility decision. So the interest rate, lenders and borrower can negotiate the interest rate, but it may not exceed the SBA maximum. So you want to find out what the SBA maximum is. Um, so for example, um, the, in this one, the SBA maximum is 5 percent. So 5 percent for loans greater than 150,000. So you have to look into all those things. Um, export Express up to 500,000. Um, the maximum SB guarantee percentage 90% for loan. Um, so 5% for loan, more than 250,000. Look at the interest rate, you have to negotiate. Eligibility decision. So this information is right there on SBA website and many more other information regarding the PPP loan. Um, and if you are not going for the PPP loan, you could apply for the EIDL loan. That's the COVID. Um, that's the COVID recovery EIDL. Um, COVID, that's a COVID loan. That's like specifically for the COVID loan. PPP is to help the small businesses. And then the EIDL loan is for like the COVID, like if the COVID is impacting your business. Um, I, the EIDL loan is what I actually happen to receive. Um, they have the grant, they have the loan. Um, you can apply for those two things. I don't know if you can still get the grant because I think they are running out of fund. But the loan is still there, and the scrutiny, the scrutinizing procedure is very huge. Um, as you can see, um, in the PPP, I mean, on the on the SBA website, you can also see that for you to have access to this loan, you need to present a business plan. And that is why you have to watch that video I did on the on how to write your business plan and also click on the link on that video and you will have access to resources you have access to templates you have access to sample you want to use the state to drop to draft out your own business plan so you can use it and apply for this and have access to funding for your business and you pay it back in like 25 years um, it's it's a very good opportunity for business owners, for business creators, um, and but do not forget the goal of this video is that there is access to loan um, forgiveness for up to eight months, depending on what program that you what loan program that you um, you know that you're on. So um, take advantage of this opportunity, look into it. Do your own research, um, take full advantage of everything around you, news, resources, information, this video, um, connect with people, ask questions, bring more people into your business, don't be afraid to fail, don't be afraid to make mistakes, just go in there and just do your best, bring your best foot forward, okay? Um, of course, people will say things about you, criticize you, whatever, but just take it, it doesn't matter, but you know your vision. And always stick with your vision, stick with your business plan, stick with your goal for the year, um, stick with how much you have in mind to me, stick with those broad vision and every other thing will just be like a piece of cake around you. Um, if you find substance, if you find value in this video, click the like button. Um, subscribe to this channel make sure you click the bell button because that would really help me out and also share this video for so many people to see because there's so many people with business ideas but they don't have access to funding for their business so share this video for them or for all of them to see this video because you will be really helping them out you'll be helping this community grow and we will all be seeing each other at the very top so until the next time i see you in my next video Peace, guys.